My name's Sean Stevens. I'm a project manager for GMAC Plumbing and Gas. In the College have supplied us with all our apprentices, which has been a massive help. I'm on my first year. I've been learning bends and pipe, fittings, everything to do with plumbing. We've got um, Tom Shelbourne at, at the moment, who's, who's rising up, coming from the basic apprentice into getting his hands on the tools now. And he's actually just starting to do first fixes. When you first come on, and uh, you've got a deadline, everything's rushed, everything's like whizzing past you and you don't know what to do. But you just get the hang of it, you carry stuff, get them to it, and then just get it done. He's really gelled with the team. He's come out of his shell and his skills, his levels and what his ability to do is just going up and up every week. We trusted him now to do the first fix phase, uh, monitored and checked over by a full engineer, obviously. Um, but we wouldn't let him do that if we didn't think that he was able to. So he's progressing really nicely uh, and his confidence is building and his skills building as well. I've done a little bit of second fixing, which is putting the stuff in, the baths, he sinks and everything. But hopefully I could uh, do one myself, just a full bathroom. Obviously, you're around people that you can go at your own pace and if you fail, they'll help you. you. You'll never be given anything that you're not able to do. It's our responsibility to look after the apprentices. So we have to make sure that whatever we give them to do is within their skill level. Even going from uh, apprentices, lessons, dead different, you're more hands on. You get to use the tools. Mm -hmm you get 110% support because we can see that they want it. And as long as they want it, we'll give them the support they need. We don't put them off, but we also we give them a bit of realism, but obviously we protect them until they're at a point where they can go on their own.